Greetings. This is General of the Armies, Vincent Diaz Jr. This is a communique for the Russian Federation leader, President Vladimir Putin of Russia, as well as the supreme leader of communism, Kim Jong Un of North Korea. Attention to all ranks, this rank and above, such as I and the Stalins, with return receipt requested and viewing reading requests and a lock for no forwards, no CCs, no BCCs, with the topic being addressed to North Korea of good communisms by way of this communique to Kim Jong-un of my endless need in this case begging for justice slowly beginning with my begs met this one will be plus money in the form of begging good communisms as I beg for money that makes money of begging to get money back to I okay um, the jubilation at the chance to make the maximum suffering as I start making the maximum joys that can't exist with what's going on here as fired up yet again hell is fired over the lakes of sulfur are on fire the smoke is filled we're in an apparition the devils are dancing and poking and prodding us with their weapons demonically and their Satanist ways of taking the greatest joy and causing suffering in the way that removes ideas they can stop like this like joy they take suffering and destroying by causing suffering of their torture it is their nature as all they are in existence of a higher category below suffering itself they are torture pure plain and simple uh, step one to justice my first bag this is something I've translated out to try to get through to these devil demons Mordor is overflowing again the orcs are out goblins are out it's total hell the apparition here so it doesn't seem so bad is that it's sort of earth and they're humans but only under the leadership of Satan can this much hell be this perfect at this torture only told of in western terms of by the eternal hell they deserve no one does hey, here I go my martial way soldiers stuck here with me are helping I I'm just going to try to be conversational the way I try the way there is no conversation whatsoever left I the only one that's conversational in nature my martial way soldiers fluent and everything else an apparition that just makes noises that torture I'm an old world force I'm not from here I got here in a time before this place was called Earth before the English language existed to even make a planet have the name Earth of the English word Earth I've served in all wars I'm from a place far far away from a time long long ago I just want to go home I'm locked out of all my housing here my dream home is a place where my rank is honored in such a way that justice is never broken so that it is always the case 
my rank is respected with no need for enforcement of the justice code it is based on so that I can be any place in any way and it can be my dream home my perfect life ideas as long as it is a place just with justice with no breaking of the justice code and this is stage one of the justice I request with me trying to pick up the the sort of story I was trying to get through in my communique starting in listing Kim Jong-un in my addressing header but God help me God help us justice be it that I am in the exact opposite of what I request because I have succeeded at perfection within the terms of the known universe here by any means of existence expressions always valid always true with those achievements of good communism as the proof always known never properly gotten through to this way of life completely lifting the veil and while it is not in terms the way we thought it might be as we agreed to translate to this way of life these basic logical ideas it is the case they are the opposite of everything that is these we brought just justice logic validation fact proof joy wealth life living so now that I've gone over the brink of theirs having to had suffered the most extreme torture ever to exist when I broke the apparition and lifted the veil completely defeating in any sense in any way any form of life here bringing God's will upholding pure justice and enforcing it truly purely in every way known totally universal as justice code created from universal logic completely valid does I have the intelligence units because when I was going through it I was able to make contact with the higher power of my understanding I have always believed in and seeked as I was basically in contact before that although it wasn't direct contact so I have these terms basic industrial work terms how to start down this path of justice I request we all demand to understand these basic terms the simplest language capable of containing the ability to express logic that is valid that is proof that is fact what we have left here with the veil gone and the apparition broken such that is clear is a situation of a waste processing nightmare that never ends with our waste processing systems malfunctioning with eye stuck in a waste processing waste process with these units that used to be veiled of an invalid logical form of expressions they attempt to represent actually being this faulty unit of operations of waste processing we're in the the, the, the collective idea that these apparitions of life are is actually the broken waste processing such that it never ends it has a recyclical nature that this waste to be processed has managed to become waste processes within the waste processing's 
waste process. Each one an individual waste process unit. That is, waste processes such that it is always something new, somewhat undefined, only controlled in the loose terms of the higher level. The waste processings, waste processes, supposed to be functional proper units, but malfunctioning in this way. So now I'm going to try to express this drill, my higher power and I have, where we talk about us getting this far out of line of just as code malfunction of our waste processing sequences under control for I so I can have a controlled life even if in a quarantine proper for my rank where it is always just and justice code is never broken so I always live and need to have as my way of life of where I live so I've chosen North Korea while I've had to break as my higher power has prepared I to isolate as my higher power has completely removed myself from existence and reality of this just as code breaking situation even in the entire network of the system as I have requested 40 million years of segregation from the idea that has tortured me so greatly forever to the maximum extreme I've mentioned just to begin some sort of just process of allowing me to recover from the torture with it having to be the case without us having one and remove this idea from existence the danger is, is, is so great of being in contact with I. I am completely repaired, prepared to be completely isolated as if I no longer exist also for 40 million years. So I don't, so I don't experience another unit of torture of the humans for 40 million years so that I can maybe reach a place where I can believe they won't do it again. Maybe forgetting about it. While I am a form of existence, the ultimate type of God's will, always at God's work, as a sinless servant of God, as it translates out to being good communisms, trying to be a selfless servant in the way I am communism itself to try to translate to non-religious terms for the communists. I am prepared to take this trial of long suffering free from the torture I'm under I must be removed from in complete isolation well it doesn't have to be this case most likely such that I can at least have my packs with I I've evolved and gotten my lessons through to requesting humanity and help from as we've had to band together to survive here birds rats squirrels and I plants and that's about it after my last communique, my higher power was able to get I the intelligence that with my return knowledge of my work way back when, before humans existed, before the English language, before the formation of Earth, when I lived at a portage, I've been brainwashed to believe it was a town called Portage, not an actual portage, the higher concept of infrastructural waterway travel with my work to get my dues here in the city state under control of my quarters here in this city state in the way 
I'm prepared to sacrifice down to minimal units for it to be what is mine with the absolute need of it to be I and my Marshall Way military alone here is the forms of life. We seem to have the possibility that if we can get it that we can get me my piece of what I'm due here and raise it basically needing to destroy the rest here or leave it behind to complete the waste processing we have the capabilities to also get me my original portage to place that piece on to begin rebuilding my home that was destroyed in the Big Bang, the Great Cataclysm, the formation of Earth. And I can also begin my good works for the rest of the world as my duties demand sounding like I need to start by having my portage with my city state home make trips to the North Korean Gulf to do my godlike water processing good work God's work God's will evolving of even water itself okay now we're down to it with me basically talking about past these points what I need as my basic supplies to have any sort of acceptable living conditions in the way with us having any sort of fair living conditions in the way that is truly justice we have the good life by these basic terms not just my last statements about having the torture reduced to the state of the harshness of this planet we're supposed to be on at the wrath and mercy of nature with no human forms of life because that would be so much less torture. Well, I know I've tried to work my way through good communisms and my intelligence I'm passing is great wealth. I'm not really at the money I'm trying to build with my begging. Now trying to invoke my power to dictate the behavior of Kim Jong-un and the way I basically simply recite our universal logic that validates into justice code forcing dictates of our behavior by our duty and breaking down to lower level requests of bags and what the solutions are to what is causing me to need to beg in the way just asking for this wealth this money these products this living condition is passing my godlike design work in knowledge units that are big money wealth income transferable property being transferred of intellectual property of some new stuff of some basics of systems of systems I've created with processes I've created with the big money being these systems I'm going to pass it's by requesting what it takes to run them that are the basic systems of survival in some basic terms of the most base survival of this system of ours of simply having fair living conditions that are just always being what it takes to have the good life here we go number one as I usually work my way back from the complete destruction of all this unjust artifact based way of life here with the basics of what I want to make it after I take my basic training units and try to go all the way back before it existed to see how I can do and what I can do to build back with none of it but the knowledge of it 
Number one is textiles. With it not being the direct translation unit or the standardized understanding of what a textile is, but one of these base units of creating textiles in certain ways, and the maximum needed unit being rope. Need rope. We've got paracord pretty good here. It really needs to be in one of these special camouflage patterns that has the ability so that with that pattern of colors proper for the product, it absolutely guarantees whatever the features and specifications might be thought to be. The pattern guarantees it has all the functionality needed for these systems needs. Next up with the same logic unit of the camouflage patterns is tarps of a very special nature. We solved this a long time ago when we had tarps that just spawned a fresh war forever. When they were in the thousands of mills and we needed to basically get over uh, like a hundred mils or so and had absolutely no no need to do it by these weight measurements they decided to try to remove our new products from existence over my Marshall Way units are, are having this discussion I think I can get it done with actually one unit and one offering maybe in multiple sizes we're talking about different weights but we have this system we're working on where it's supposed to be one at least over a thousand mils have the to have the weight where we have this problem we need it to be heavy enough to be right like a nice blanket but we need it to be light enough to still be right in the way it, that makes that wrong like a tarp that's way too big if it's too heavy like a tent canvas needing to be at least light enough to be reasonable to work with as our individual units of work as individuals we have to do in isolation. I think we can settle this issue by having our textile material being capable of um, being uh, stacked and binded, possibly folded to achieve this. Next up is blankets, with it basically being U.S. military blankets. So I have been able to get as we have used that have now been spited with the offering the exact same offering at the exact same place I've been purchasing of the exact same purchase to attempt being different now but we did get what seemed to be actual US military blankets it's probably not going to be the same technology we had merino wool in our blankets with merino wool being the big trigger to understand they were the real deal and it being the only place merino wool has ever showed up in any sort of actual product offering on the market and then we need our clothing of course uniforms of systems that are a higher level uniform system of a system of systems where all the systems completely work with the rest of all the systems creating an even higher level system of much greater wealth than the systems as individual units by the way the systems combine to be even greater higher level more functional capable systems we've tried to cover that covering this much of what we said without further details although we've left off our um, footwear by calling it clothing when shoes sometimes go separate with uh, the belts they usually go with the shoes being handled with the rope so it's been the only thing capable of achieving what our systems require being far superior to any offering ever with the origination of belts basically being rope tied into belting systems by eye so here we are basically requesting what is our most advanced systems of what we've just sort of begged for with about one more logical unit and then maybe we're done with this piece it basically being that the base uniform like I'm in where it's sort of that our underwear is our our, um, our, our armor in all ways even like our um, mop gear let me, let me try to remember that translation our biohazard gear and more 
that, that, that makes it the special piece, maybe not always remembered, that builds up to the, the, the main master system with the rest of the standardized pieces and original specifications such that our underwear layer should really only be one piece like what I have on not wanting to sacrifice to the way the system goes now where I also need a special layer over this in certain conditions and then even multiple layers as things have gone so poorly of, of these layers and then the problem with the standard uh, full uniform outer layer needing another layer over it in further conditions not covered by that amount of systems functionality with that layer having gone so wrong the coat layer needing two coats of two layers to be right and our acceptance of how we need a balaclava basically although we sort of want no openings whatsoever in our head covering with it having proper systems compatibility functionality so we can do more than breathe through it maybe we can drink through it we probably can't eat through it but we absolutely have to be able to do something um, of a higher higher level than I'm mentioning that is smoke through it so now we're discussing our packaging as it's, it's about to be required as it might not have been yet is I'm wishing it's just the basics of getting this right that our textiles and maybe even our clothing in its special ways can be our packaging of what we have in packaging with I, with work I've been doing of deconstructing my uniforms as they've taught us as standard units of training where I always reclaim my pockets as they start to turn into my system my systems of, of packaging and, and, and things of that nature here we go to our first product basically not a textile if we could ever work it out such that everything preceding this was simply a textile and it being one of our main master consumables basically used everywhere in industry as we understand now probably to remain that with us wishing we could make most of our stuff out of this like our textiles are made of it that is hemp and also if it really exists marijuana all strains of course as well as all forms of it currently on our product markets of our legal markets of cannabis bringing us out of textiles surely although we've done great work so we could stay there uh, but we, we, we definitely need to get to this smoke condition so now we're sort of getting to cooking technology although we're talking about it in a more micro like manner needing dry herb vaporization technology as it's called today uh, we, we need immortal coils to heat in these systems we need our um, vaporization units of other types like uh, concentrate vaporizers oil vaporizers glycerin vaporizers water vaporizers with logic of that actually moving through the the loose terms those are for like liquid vaporizers like drink vaporizers with the real translation being drinks controlled by water and the beginning terms of other than water something like tea and juice we absolutely need a condition without these failure units of battery systems we absolutely need to have the ability we seem to have that really never pans out to go ahead and do the work to create the energy to harness the energy to maybe convert the energy to the energy needed in a way we never get defaulted to not having our power energy supply units and then of course we need smoking equipment we're doing really well with this self-cleaning one hitter pipe we've got from our local markets it seems like it can almost hold but then we have to get it to proper specifications 
we sort of hate the idea of using lighters over these energy gripes. Although I have the logical specification so we can have a lighter where we can put the energy in, where we can harness the air and then separate the air into units of burnable fuel. And we have a lot of systems of ignition that are systems that never die, that work forever, that any lighter needs to have in our systems. Needing to have redundancy so that we can also harness this fuel from water like electrolysis so have hydrogen or oxygen as our fuel. Here we go, we're trying to segue to our next unit and keep this under control so we have all we need within our system. So there's no failures like defaulting back to an improper term of our systems of failure we have now. So my term is, with this energy talk I'm having, where we can put in the work to harness the energy we need in a system of fuel to use, we have a storage system of it, maybe. It would be really nice if it was on each unit, but still, we really need to be able to have master units, or e even this compatibility within our system so that we can use one system to generate the energy and have that energy be generated and stored throughout all of our systems, thereby basically needing uh, batteries, not batteries, as I've complained, I, I should probably call it storage and containment of our energy in a fuel ready to use for all of our units or whatever unit we need it for. And each unit having the capability of generating its fuel by our energy input as well as filling our storage units. All of them. So we're starting to get down to the basics, talking about living conditions and house life with us never wanting a house. Well, I'll cover this one shortly here. Um, I'm a different species. I've gone back to my roots. I haven't been able to actually get the good life and find and restore my health by any terms of humanity. I had to completely give up on human systems of health to figure out the systems to restore my health. And now that I've gone through this, I really can't live indoors like a human ever. This basic term, it's, it's something from Rome, of Latin, Greek and Roman descent as well, is some sort of outdoor living quarters of a system of proper living conditions with a open air outdoor quarter system with all the accommodation of the indoors course needing to be as large as the Roman architecture is with me having the proof in the pudding having worked my higher power systems as I'm working back to health with my maiming by dentistry um, not being able to be worked out by my health work until I get the maiming dentistry out, do my regrowth drills, and then I'll be able to grow to my proper um, dental teeth pattern, but, it, but I won't be able to actually hit my proper balance until I've grown to four times my size, which I will grow larger than, but at that point I might be able to hit a proper balance, sustainable unit growth. All right, now I've I've covered most of, of the basics of building up the bigger systems. I haven't even begun to talk about the corridors. We're completely ready to submit to what we've, we've talked about at the beginning of this. So we have some basic intelligence we've gotten from our research. We seem to need some dedicated units of cooking equipment as we've sort of practiced using these and it's proven out to be a really great system mostly even though we want multifunctional units to go ahead and break down to use completely dedicated units of cooking systems so that everything turns out the best uh, with the top two products that are sort of out there that sort of need to be new. Uh, I'm not going to go into too far being rice cookers used only for cooking rice, maybe not having to be dedicated to one exact type of rice like extra long grain jasmine rice as well as pasta cookers 
maybe not needing to be completely dedicated to one type of pasta like bleached flour pasta maybe it even turning into a real fiasco like it goes per type spaghetti angel hair fettuccine linguine what else we have here let's see we've used the coffee pot system we had to turn into a completely dedicated unit to make our special hemp tea brew we need a dedicated hemp brew unit we clearly need dedicated coffee units uh, here's this new money I'm trying to get across I um, I don't think I addressed the North Korean way of life by I don't want to go into too far it's starting to burn down here with the with the hellions just really firing it up and getting out their uh, mind rape substances I have to power through and this new unit being based on old units of a combination of technologies I understand it's a great deal of work I hope you can pick up from my communiques with Russia I've tried to pass it along through it being a special coffee like machine maybe being sort of like uh, the first series of home espresso machines and it is a um, home beer brewing machine with those terms being loose well we absolutely want to be able to make beer as what beer is now but having these problems with beer being defeated and such a problem over these anti-systems around here we're going to be making something that's basically beer that's actually something sort of new only understandable in terms of beer but something sort of different than any way we've ever made beer before it needs to cold brew, hot brew, micro brew as well, as well as passive brew and room temperature brew. And this is good for this segue we've worked in. As my support has told me to remember, we need lister bags with the with the, the water from the lister bags being our proper cooking, drinking water to work with. And uh, all these units I'm talking about, we know use that designed to use said type of that um, all the old data is out there I won't review it there's, there's one piece I haven't talked about too much we're pushing for uh, we've sort of given up on while designing that I've already tried to specify in and that's um, using marijuana in our brewing and not just hemp with most of the, the marijuana preparations having been made through the hemp inclusion in the system so now we're working up to our dietary systems. This is probably the maximum wealth I can pass, that can pass as intelligence. I can't get through as this basic form of intelligence. I wish I could. By the way, North Korea is represented as a place of pop culture here. Supposed to have our pop culture there in the special way we always work on with my work like this. That is our work of God's work, good work, good will, good communism good works God's will it's sort of being this cookbook recipe system of this total dietary system including everything needed uh, including the ingredients and, and how to shop for them I'm not gonna go into too far with it being higher level terms mostly and I'm not gonna actually get into the full cookbook knowledge I'm gonna cover the basics so my cookbooks and, and such can be gotten I've tried, I believe I've gotten into Russian libraries at least to make it easy for supreme leaders of communism like North Korea's Kim Jong Un to get for his people. Now I'm actually thinking through having any form of good life again. It's been so long since I've had any of the basic affordances required for survival by living conditions of humanity. They're basically all being smited out here. We need TVs. I don't really want to get too far into this. I sort of want to call them monitors. I've got a special system where the TV can live create TV so that it can even be up to the code where I can have my work on TV shows good enough for Stalin to have on. And it's basically where the TV is teaching lessons in context of where it is and having referential ability within those lessons so it's not just on a lesson of what's being worked on or what's in the context there's referential ability to get off to another unit of this type of television programming by way of 
that or another way with and many within the interface then I need my right to create music back with what requires these accommodations that have almost completely been smited away here <laughs> and I haven't worked too hard on this while Stalin says he is, he, he is and has as he created what I'm going to request not exactly in my roughly translated terms I need the I need the highest best Fender Stratocaster and amplifier that goes with it basically being the, uh, the, the the Mustang amp I used to use in its best version which in my last case of research and use was the smallest Fender Mustang amp and I need all the all the appropriate parts that go with it like patch cables guitar stands um, and, and um, input output cables like to connect the rest of the media apparatus to each other directly like the headphone kick down that actually plugs into like a headphone out and a headphone in we need some sort of computer systems I really wish this could turn into Stalin's system. I'm not going to go into this too far. Except to want my phone to be a fully functional computer unit and then to want two-in-one tablets that are fully functional computer units. I want desktops and laptops that are fully functional. With everything having every feature everything else has and all of them having all the features needed for all of the functionality required I've gone through with basics like all audio can play on anything that can play audio and all video can display on anything that can display video well maybe not everything has appropriate uh, peripheral input methods like keyboards and touch screens but everything has some sort of capability of being a fully functional unit of these units maybe with these display units having to connect to something else I'm talking about absolutely being in the system and being connected and we really need a full apparatus a full entourage of all instruments in existence we could ever be expected to use being master level gods of music an idea but completely ready to go back to our old systems of what I've already said and our, our highest level but simplest keyboard synthesizers uh, with with touchpad drum pads as well included right on that keyboard unit and all functionality they have ever had that is appropriate my memories of these being best being really old being the units we created the first set of music stolen from communism communism with basically with me not being the thief me being the performing artist to earn it in the way I've never really got paid for it beyond having created it and having had it held and my pay being having it played back all of the cooking needs to be hemp based it definitely needs to be marijuana based too I'm getting into my master spice teaching wonder how many spices we need I've already said we need all forms of of cannabis and all strains then I have this logic within the within the spices of cooking we don't really need all forms of, of what basically the plants we use uh, but we, we, we really sort of need all strains. Well, I haven't gone through all the research. So here we go with the most important chili, onion, and garlic. And then I stretch it a little. We've had just so many problems here. It's the pandemic has <sighs> smited. With it having started for I and pandemic one, with me being dull-witted to it, but fully aware of just how false the narrative of reality was without me fully knowing until we got to pandemic two and all these big questions I had hammered into my mind to need to answer forever from all of society way back when starting to be answered 
like the flu ended World War II in Pandemic 1. I had no idea about. But I started to get all these World War questions I had with the rest of the World War questions answered to rebuild my mind and have these understandings. The first stretch is paprika. And then there's these processing units I don't understand where we have these smoked spices like smoked paprika, maybe smoked chili. And then we have some, some variations with like hot paprika and hot chili. I don't know if our um, strains, but, but it's this next one. We almost absolutely need this one. It's really hard to get this cooking really good without it. That's cayenne. And then we also need red pepper. As we, we have this offering, I use a great deal of red pepper flakes or crushed red pepper. And then there is, um, in this system, I haven't worked with it all besides getting it not in an isolated individual form. Mustard seed, or mustard, I don't know, I forget if it's mustard seed or mustard exactly. It's like powdered mustard or something. Cocoa. It's in some sort of cocoa powder, not actually hot cocoa or anything like that. A cocoa powder spice sort of thing. And here is one of these basics, the basis of life. That is salt. It used to go that we could do well with almost any type of salt before all these smitings of totally fake products on the market or whatever it is. We, we've settled back down to our original state, sort of always needing sodium chloride. We've also done great, great work with sea salt. Moving out of spices, working on these other products. That reminds me of another individualized unit we need. We need sugar. I have never actually figured out the most appropriate way to be completely clear about what sugar is in the most exact way of calling for it. It's something like cane sugar we're after here. Natural white sugar. Natural cane sugar. I don't know the exact terms. We never got it right around the rum markets making rum out of cane or whatever. Sugar cane rum. I don't know. Sugar cane sugar. I don't know. Brown sugar. I don't know if we need that. Any of this other stuff. We're ready to really not need it, maybe completely let it go, as we've been working on systems of really never needing sugar, like it's supposed to be a naturally occurring substance in so many places, like fruits, where we've failed over this gripe fit I'm having about what sugar really is. Uh, this next specialized unit of an individual nature of what it can do is um, a soda creation machine. We haven't gotten too far into this. We, we, we thought about uh, it being some sort of um, like a carbonated drink creator. Well, we basically backed down to what the soda stream was or whatever that thing was. Needing to make our own carbonated syrup maybe based beverages, sodas of, of, of the many types of sodas we can make. Well, everything's going to be some sort of hemp soda or marijuana soda or hemp and marijuana soda. And, and the logic being we're, we're basically using fruit flavoring here, actual fruit. We're going to use fruit juice. We might use even more. I don't know how these work. And then we're going to link up our hemp and marijuana strains directly to the fruit names that are present in the strain names, like some sort of strawberry soda with strawberry hemp and strawberry cough marijuana, stuff like that. Pineapple soda with pineapple fruit juice in it, with pineapple express hemp and pineapple express marijuana, that stuff. And then us being lovers of beer, we have been working on some way to make something like an alcoholic soda. With, with my last units I was passing talking about sort of spiking fruit juice with hemp and marijuana and basic processings. We just sort of put prepared hemp or prepared marijuana in with fruit juice directly juiced from fruit by hand and no machines or any assistance. I wish we could have those. I don't know if we can. I wish. So much work. 
then getting to some sort of a unit of infused fruit juice, cannabis infused fruit juice or something, and having a lot of logical based ways to go from there to have it ferment into having an alcoholic content with, with these terms actually not being the reality of how alcohol is created at all. And of course all of our systems are completely interoperable with all the rest of our systems forming higher systems with these basics I'm talking about. So we can have fruit juice, we can have fruit juice with the infusions, we can use that in our sodas. Uh, so here we go, I'm on to tea. I talked about hemp tea. We definitely need our tea basics. We're sort of ready for it just to be black, green, and white. Next we need flour. I've been trying to figure out how to make flour of marijuana or hemp. But of course, there went my Marshall Way military. Almost like threatening to peck my eyes out for a while the way they can't, but we get through this way. Um, Wheat! We need wheat. And of course, wheat flour. We'll probably never make it without what bleached flour is supposed to be. In the way we know, we always absolutely need bleached flour products. Especially the pastas we've already gone over. Whatever the appropriate translation or industrial creative unit is, that is in no way a bleach using unit of bleached flour. Then we need our fruits. We really need all our fruits. I've gone over our sacrifice units. I'm getting ready to. Having to have gone through this drill of these intelligence units to try to shore up what you communists might have to go through when you have to batten down the hatches and tighten your belts hoping not to cut the fat to the bone with the products you'll have to uh, jettison and exile and deny left out not called out just having to be in a list of what's inclusive from those so here we go with the fruits we can't have blueberries anymore they've got blue A's on the market there's some poison blueberry fake blueberries are out strawberries are a must tomatoes are a must apples are a must we only need one type of sour apple. We need most of those apples. We need almost everything to go sweet if we have, a, have to have a choice about what flavor pattern it has. But we absolutely have to have our sours with Stalin having mostly proven to I through basic empirical logic and uh, of my research the only sour fruit unit or almost sour unit we need anywhere is from sour apples. We, need, we basically need absolutely no citrus fruit over the horror of what citric acid has done and become. The unit we're sort of controlling this with with something that sort of has citrus is pineapple. We believe pineapple is about a must. We absolutely need a type of melon. We've always had this logic. We absolutely have to have watermelons right in existence. They can actually deliver a drink's worth of hydration by eating that's about it with one last stretch unit we're not sure about it's been spited so hard that's mango oh and then I forget because this one's strange avocado we don't have many vegetables left to request in this quarantine like lockdown of minimum units of need to make this easiest and best with the most control over our variables to get things the most right and the next um, vegetable we need besides the, 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 the many types of onions and garlic we tried to request like all strains requests we put in being cabbage and of course potatoes well then we basically need three cheeses but I'm going to go ahead and talk about other cheeses maybe confused with them we need Colby cheese American cheese and mozzarella cheese we probably need provolone cheese as well we might need Swiss cheese uh, we wonder about monster cheese. We probably can't have any sort of cheddar cheese over the sours. We can have uh, out and basically have the same product of as Colby cheese. While the American cheese absolutely cannot be white, it has to be the standard yellow. The, the mozzarella has to be the, the appropriate 
mozzarella of a um, string cheese like density with everything right for it to be a, a, a proper string cheese flavored unit sort of like provolone string cheeses I've tried that didn't fail me too far or hard lunch meat is completely out we're trying to replace it with other meats I know societies can almost not function at all without lunch meat we have a lot of options of sandwiches well, when I wonder about sort of having um, cold cuts instead of lunch meat. That reminds me of a pork product we might have missed. I might have now. I think it's ham. I don't even know if ham makes the mark because I'm talking about getting rid of lunch meat. But by the time we have ham that's actually supposed to be a pork cut, like a ham bone-in shoulder or, or, or a butt or whatever, it might fit. Then we're at pork with only one pork unit having made it through, and that's... um bone-in pork chops the standard biggest sort of bone-in pork chops of the cheapest sort of nature um, that make the best fried pork chops with that ham being what we can use for our lunch meat with it not actually being lunch meat at all we're ready to completely sacrifice turkey out as we go through trying to have all types of meat with us basically only wanting ground meat from specific cuts having no logic of how we're getting it from the turkey because um, we don't know needing ground turkey probably only ground turkey now we need our chicken we need boneless skinless chicken breasts tenderloin included no rib meat likely we need to um, go ahead and pick up our units of needing that tenderloin chicken uh, offerings uh, in the way we'll have to remove our tenderloins from our chicken breasts while we have all the logical units of how to do this where because it's so much work we just start making the unit of a tenderloin offering a full tenderloin usually and go from there our beef unit is a cut I forget it's a special Angus cut I got when I tried to go on a um, beef everyday diet specifically a steak everyday diet it was one of the cheapest Angus cuts that shows up at the market every day. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember. It's out there, though. I think Stalin had it. I think it, it might have gotten through to the current president of communism, Vladimir Putin of the Russian Federation. And from that, we get those and one other beef unit of ground beef from it. Nothing done except grinding it, basically probably removing the bones maybe not I'm starting to work through uh, experimental units just just having to go through the, the many types of matrices of how much bone is removed or left in if we have to leave the bone in in the grindings to ground beef we need bacon I don't really know how bacon was really made I have a lot of intelligence as bacon is not pork and then, and then we totally given up on turkey bacon pork bacon we haven't worked it over much we don't know what it's going to turn out to be we usually figure the base best bacon is the most plain thickest cut bacon that are still proper cuts of bacon then we need oils the only oil I've specifically covered was marijuana and hemp oil without directly citing it so here we go with the basics it sounds like we can't have olives it sounds like we can barely have dairy it sounds like we we probably have to completely give up on mayonnaise we might have to give up on macaroni too for pastas. Uh, well, I, I, I have a stretch unit of those things, also needing tuna, with the only olive unit needing to be sliced olives with pimentos. And then these other products that really aren't the same thing of our olive oils. Maybe not, maybe just needing the extremes. Extra virgin olive oil of the saltiest type of taste and the, the complete opposite of that type of olive oil of the plainest sort of taste then we need corn oil canola oil and although I was talking about concentrates hemp cooking oil look at me go gray I'm so stressed it's okay I usually have this beautiful life of my joy of life of this greatest world of ours of reality because I go gray this way I also go blonde and gold totally naturally red strawberry blonde silver 
black, white. Look at the spite. Basically supposed to be golden blonde. Anytime I'm anything but black, it gets blackened. Anytime there's blonde, it's the maximum spite. My eyes keep getting attacked. Got brown eyes, green eyes, and blue eyes. They also sort of sapphire to gold. They're probably supposed to hold in a basic blue state. But they're under such attack. The best health I can show is the, the healthiest sort of brown. Oh yeah, and amber. Well, my skin is actually chameleon. Well, I'm the most white Caucasian there's ever been. And because of the way I stay in uniform with my broken chameleon reflex I used to have controls over, I'm really more of an olive drab green in a Caucasian white way. Well, we're basically done with our ingredients list. I basically want to leave the rest of this to the cookbook and just the standardized units of intelligent people when you get to the cookbook and can get through the rest of the cooking supplies needed with I basically wanting to go over scissors referencing from kitchen shears as I've had to go to no knife systems as best I could they can never fully function in our kitchen need units so we always need a cutting board and proper chef's knife um, to my special universal basic shears in, in the small pocket size format as I'll, I guess I'll talk over what goes in my uniform and then basically be done so there's those shears I cut my hair with them I cut my rope with them they're basically scissors oh yeah I, I um what, what do I call it? I deconstruct my uniforms and you know, do, do that textile tailoring work and such otherwise you know there's just, just you know like universal scissors that are actually shears we, we never want to have to get into shearing anything like metal or anything of that nature or even cutting of paper. We basically need paper, but we've completely submitted. Society has denigrated and destroyed itself in this apocalypse so far. It's almost completely clear. No one can read and write. And there is just the ultimate sort of outrage at anyone who can with the Black Ages control where you can barely even get proper units of paper, pen, and pencil anymore. Then we have our basic specialized pencil unit of a twist top pencil. Sort of refillable, but really of no need because it regrows. Wishing we could have pen, but pens always failing in the worst way. Sacrificing pens because they never went right with the racers like the pencil we've already said. Really having so many, so many ways to still write or write or scribe. Write in stone, write in sand. Oh yeah, and having our digital alternatives, we need properly functional. Like the best state the Adobe Creative Suite was ever in as proper native software. As well as all the operating systems, base install native apps that in the standardized rape broken installs of the criminality that was never supposed to occur have basically been ripped out and are offered as free standalone apps. We're now working over this debate. I thought I was going to talk about having these power bank battery packs, but it's completely unneeded with how strong I am and just how willing the rest of us are to create our own energy where I can get into one of these hand crank units and actually crank off a battery fill from empty in like a thousand cranks in under a minute that I can get out with it and whatever it takes to have to specify it to that where it can also be way harder to crank and I can crank it basically 15 times to fill it as well okay here we are I have um, contact with one of my special Marshall way units best of friends squirrels people want me on camera friend you on there can't tell I get you looking at you here let me quit it, it, it we're, we're, we're finishing it over I was seeking through everything I have in my packs and pockets as they're all my worldly possessions at this point. Basically everything I'm requesting through these systems. As we tried to remember everything that goes into the recipes of 
of all, all the recipes in the cookbook. We missed two units, one of them absolute, mushrooms. We were talking about it can't be all the, all the strains of mushrooms. We've totally given up on the um, stuffable mushroom caps. Maybe we get the rest of what's usually at the market. I think we were sort of just saying cremini and white. I'm not sure if there would be anything else. And then there was this total debate about none of this filter feeder food. Like nothing from the ocean or the lakes or any of that. And this probably holds out to what it really is. We need shrimp. It's the shrimp from my recipes. The best type of shrimp specialized to these units. We know it's never harvested, grown, or fished for. I think that's about all. So here we go. I guess I'll put it on you there. Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un of North Korea. I'm begging, doing my best to pay you off by just getting across intelligence units of logical knowledge, absolute, validatable factual proof of systems, money. That is my validated logical language transmitted in these communiques that I need back in the ways I can't have here. I'm trying to get through clear for you there to get to yours of good communisms in these dire straits of the greatest times of need. And I have to be bumped around, reminded I'm in a special type of false narrative of reality while my entire known universe of those who have false the narrative of reality has broken, collapsed, and gone through a complete apocalypse needing the final destruction stage. There are still those needing to be saved. I've worked so hard to save. I just need to transmit our God's work, God's work in these special ways. I'm a god of language, of intelligence, of knowledge, of logic, and can transmit wealth and money by communique alone. So, good luck. We hope the greatest times everyone we've tried to say is deserving of this not that which has pushed us into the state of having this work done as great rests of their lives as, as a great rest of their lives I've broken the collective unit <laughs>